Crazy. All right, let's see. Uh, let's break down this this search here. Baze watches across. They send everyone towards the B side. Really aggressive plays by by New York here. Super aggressive. They don't see anyone gas. They're pushing straight down the street. I think Faze sees him here though. Yeah, this is what this is what the guy with bomb simp is doing. He can watch this cross. So this is why, like number four is kind of turning around here. Oh, and Paco wins the gunfight. Cell's just Cell's just a little off in that gunfight. That pick is huge because not only are they still playing safe on site, obviously you see number two gets killed here as well. He's a little bit ahead of the ahead of the push, but they also have fully controlled like this entire mannequin cafe side of the map because of this kill. And now they can start flanking or doing whatever they want uh, the rest of this round. Like first blood, not only first blood on defense is insane, but first blood defense round one is... Uh, very 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 hard to come back from if you're an offensive team no trophies it's just it's 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 pretty difficult now 4v2 i mean this is just they try and make a play mid cut but they're they're on top of it paco gets killed but skies is there for the eventual trade 3v1 last guy left simp he just goes mid cut too tries to take a timing they're mid core watching him so good, good round one out of out of New York. Obviously, the aggressive A push worked out for them. Them getting their kill on cell kind of opened up the round completely. So they bounce back with a defense, defensive round of, of their own. See what happens here. Double child across by New York. They're trying to kill this guy over here, number four. Number four is watching the cross as well. This is going to be a standard spread from New York. One treehouse, one blue, one mid, uh, you know, cross tank, and then one... P3 slash uh, gas over over here. This is a common spread you see like a lot of teams do. If they're not playing the cross tank, uh, they're moving over to like laundry or mannequin over here. And you're just playing a full spread, playing a little bit slow, and then you're going to group up to do something later on in the round based on whatever information that you get. New York on the other side. <clears throat> they had their one guy watching the cross. They have another guy, Deep Street. Solo Cafe. He's playing just to watch the cross, but he's going to eventually just like dip out. Uh, you don't want to get double teamed in there in, in cafe and then you have number seven actually playing behind the tank super super cruddy behind the tank trying to just play a one-off spot and he has number eight watching over him too this is a big spot because what what uh what simp is doing over here is he has the entirety of all of the deep pinch cross from either cafe, street, B Dom. He can see everything in case they try to get aggressive. And he knows based on that round one that they could. So that's why he's playing this spot. And that's really important for later on in, in the entire uh, match. You'll see it later on too. Kiz gets fucked over because he thinks he has the timing on this guy construction. He doesn't realize the second guy is going to be right here with him. And now he just gets double teamed. This is a good micro positioning finesse by Abizi. Look what he does here. He hides behind the fucking pillar. <laughs> he just hides behind the pillar, making sure that number one can get his trade for him. And what you can do here, P3, if you get like pushed up P3 and they don't see you, you can even make a late play like this. You can make a late play through ASD. It's a very big buying spot, especially if they're not working this anymore. So if they see like contact towards B side and they start moving people towards mid court or moving and wrapping around towards B, you know, and they give this up, it's a it's a big blind spot here. So I wouldn't be surprised if Simp gets like one or two in this position. He's gonna push up straight through the street. And he gets two. I mean that's a it's a great like uh, we call this activation. You're activating based on uh, the information and the activity of the other people on the map. So, you know, obviously the rest of the phase guys are working this B site. They double team kids over here because, you know, New York sees multiple people B side. They're thinking, okay, it's just going to be a B hit. 
let's wrap over and, and play the retake. But this leaves the A street open. Simp is able to now, from P3, go up the street. Uh, he could have hit A, S, and D as well. He can do that and, and try and you know cover their mid cut for them. But he takes the t deep timing to go A street uh, and gets two people over here. So, I mean, huge fucking play. So after Simp gets the two piece, he moves to A, S, and D. He sees last guy live, Paco. You know, even though he dies here, now he gets information on where last guy live is. He's flanking through DVD. Now they're just gonna play a, a you know common setup construction DVD or construction uh, forklift. Sorry. It's so hard to play this. He gets shots off on cell. He's gonna nade him too, but he has a trophy there anyway. So they know his positioning. It's just gonna be basically impossible sometimes to win this. Face plays it well, and that's an offensive win. That's a huge, huge offensive win. Whenever you can get an offensive win on invasion, that's uh, that's big. This is a big round eleven though. I'm gonna, we're gonna recall what happened in that previous round when Simp went P3, right here. So off the break here, you see New York double dying the cross. One guy's gonna go B side. Five is gonna cross late towards the mid tank. Once again, Sky is watching the A street and uh, it looks like Sib is gonna go towards uh, B with number seven here. And he's gonna play deeper. So deep spread here, but as you see on the other side, remember what we talked about with, uh, with FaZe here. Remember we talked about Simp going towards P3 and, and holding this cross? He knows that New York likes to get active towards this A side, so he is holding this completely uh, for his team. And they're just doing a, a standard spread. One guy top blue, bomb treehouse. One guy was watching the you know mid cross, he's still at the mid tank. And they're just gonna play slow, waiting for New York to do something. And Skies over here gets really over eager, pushes through the A street, and Simp gets a free first blood for round 11. And this is because they, they instantly didn't go off, like off rip towards A street. They don't see him even cross towards P3. They don't even have this info. So if you, if you don't have this info on P3, you got to expect that there's a possibility of them being there. I mean, obviously this is a super cred, but it's it's very hard to take this space here. Like it's very big risk to take this space if you you haven't really fully cleared everything. He just doesn't see anyone gas side here, so he's expecting that like, no one's gonna be playing P3. Uh, but that's a gamble that he was willing to take, and and unfortunately he dies for it. So they get the first blood A side. Now Phase can wrap towards A2. New York is kind of tweaking because they don't really know, you know. What phase is gonna do? They can they can probably react to them wrapping to B or whatever, but you know they're gonna still hold their ground towards the B side and try and play retake together. I would assume. You know, number seven is still towards broken side. He gets seen. Sib is gonna try and take it, or sorry, Paco is gonna try and take a, a timing through DVD. Maybe get lost in, inside DVD, but they've already cleared uh, B Dom. So, you know, number four here basically just needs to watch their their pinch. You know, back DVD over here, like front blue. They're watching their back B Dom. This is this is a really good pickup by Draza. Because number two Abizi is backing up, there's a timing for them to get caught out by anyone rotating from B through mid cut. Draza watches his his chase. Great play by Draza. Paco is probably gonna get a kill here front uh front cafe. Let's see what happens. He does. He almost gets a second, but now they know where he is. Cell can try and play for him through DVD and get this trade right here. That's what he does. 3v1 now. Last guy live on site. Just hit this guy out, phase wins. But it all comes down to that that P3 play that Simp did in that previous round where he activated towards it, like like pushing through the street, and this one where he just laid in P3 waiting for someone to get uh, super aggressive. And it's just it's just playing off of uh, New York liking to get aggressive A side. So there's a really good really good uh, really good play by Simp there in both of those rounds.